Welcome back to Face TV, uh, ladies and gents. It's map two time. Cash between Hellraisers and Na'Vi. And they're not playing for a spot just yet. They're playing to have a chance at them playing flip side to then have a spot at the land. So it's still uh, still some maps, some games to be played here for these teams. But Na'Vi, they've been present. They've, they got top two at the last one, at last finals. But they've been, pre been present at, what, six Star Series finals. So... Navi, they need to beat Hellraisers and then they need to beat Flipside Tactics if they want to make it through. Dan. It's a long road. Dan. Someone drew a picture of us. Yeah. And they drew me as like some fat office dude. <laughs> I'm not impressed. You've got to do better than that. I want another drawing. Literally, you should retweet it like later. But they drew like someone, somebody who works in like a photocopier office called Steve and is overweight. That's not what I look like. So I expect more. Please. Thank you. You can see this affected him quite a lot. <laughs> well, all I want is a fair representation, Dan. <laughs> We've had some interesting ones before. But yeah. Yeah, that's actually one of the, the better ones. <laughs> yeah, we've had some really, <laughs> in fairness, we've had some really, really yeah. bad ones. They've been, yeah. <laughs> There's been some interesting ones. So you guys are amazing artists. It was in the right direction, but... Keep, keep the art artistry. We had an MS Paint alive. contest once, right? That was fun. Did we? We did. I don't remember that. That's when that <laughs> the, the one you're thinking about okay. came out. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you for your artwork. Please send in more. Okay, Hellraisers, they won the Battle of the Knives. The Knives. And they have decided, very smartly, to start off on the CT side. And here we go. Jumping into the pistol. Na'Vi... They want us to 16 to 11. So let's see if they can. Uh, can they close it out on cash, or will we go to Mirage? Well, we're going to have an A push. Note that they're all walking around here, guys, because when you're playing on pugs, etc., people like to run everywhere. But you just telegraph your your uh, intentions. And again, look, Herez is playing for the retake here on A. Let's start to get a bit closer as those smokes come in. Oh, Angel with a flank already, but he can't find the frag. He finds it eventually, but that will be. Uh, Alarm bells for Na'Vi, but this is awkward now. How are they trying to defend this spot? Another headshot there for Angel. Trying to get a third one. Challenging with Starrex. Got to reload his gun, though. Going to get caught short. Clock's going to have more bullets than the USPS. So, it's the retake now. It's four versus two. Kucha with four HP and the kit. He's not going to find a frag, but the kit is not too far away for a potential uh, diffuse situation. What the hell's going on? Starring still alive, though he has to go and run and close the distance on the bomb, but denied by Duran. He's got a kit in his hand, and he will get the defuse. So it's a good effort there from Na'Vi, but you can really see how the retake strategy comes into play for Hellraisers, how they are well equipped with such a strategy to deal for all situations, and it worked out for them. But the bomb going down, are we going to see another... F yeah, we're going to see Na'Vi go for the same strategy um, as we saw previously, where they just buy up straight away. Okay, so Na'Vi, all about the pressure game now. Sees with the AK. Four Tech Nines, no armor on Starix. Okay, so this could be really good here. Look at this spread here from Hellraiser. They're expecting, or rather, are closer to be at the moment. In comes the push. How fast can they respond? How fast can Na'Vi get in on top of this bomb site? Well, these smokes are going to cut off a lot of vision, but... Can they take it away? There's still a man at the back. There it is. Dozier does get eliminated. Na'Vi looking good now on this bomb take. It's a three on three. Can they get that bomb down? Stuck over it for the Dren going to go in around Forklift. Picks up the quick kill onto Guardian. And now it's uh, problems here. But see, he's still very healthy. In good position to catch these players from, uh, from Hellraisers. They're taking it really slow. Seize gets the first draw. Look at the team play. But Seize is too quick. With the shots, gets both kills. And now Flamey, they don't know where he is. He's working on his ace. And there's Flamey. A bit of damage there. Can't quite get the frag. And there it is. Zeus goes down. And it's a one-on-one -on -one against Seize. He's already got four frags. He's got the AK still. And there it is. Flamey takes him down. And the defuser again will come in. But with that bomb down and with four men's... Four men's? Four men. Four men's. Four men's. <laughs> four and a half men's. Four. We don't need the plurals. I've got all the plurals. With four men taken out and a bomb down. That is that's an amazing result. Navi gonna, should probably buy up again if that that that's the only way that investment makes sense. And indeed, we're going to see that. And uh, how raises? If this keeps happening, they're going to run out of steam. It's, the war of attrition will eventually 
with Navi having successive bomb plants, allow them to come out on top and cheaper weapons. Yeah, so very expensive round indeed for Hellraisers. Leaving CT spawn with nothing in the bank. Nice nade there, but too early to find anyone boosted up. Seize, however, is boosted up. So he's going to fall down as he tries to push B. Let's see if uh, anything could happen in mid. We've got Angel in a potentially strong position there, using the smoke as a bit of uh, partition to hide behind. And Seize will fall on a boost spot. So Staric still ro rolling around with one HP and a tech nine. So it's two and a half versus four. Adren with 23 HP. He is uh, in one tap from any of these guns. Within range of the one tap. Guardian holding the angle towards B. He is carrying the bomb as well. He may just get out there just in time before Angel goes for a peek here. And if he had gone for a, uh, a duel there and lost it, that would have been horrible for Na'Vi because the bomb would have been down as well. So they're going to gather towards the mid-A area. Starx will be taken out. That one HP going to be removed, but the flank is coming in from two CTs. They're not on the site, but and that's going to be a smoke which could allow him to get a plant at least. Dozier going to get into an aggressive position to try and stop the movement there. Edward down, down to Guardian. He will get followed up by Angel with that flank as well. So no plant this time for Na'Vi. Yeah, they had the right idea going over the top with the AKs. Definitely have a, a big advantage against Harazers having Famuses in middle. And we, they did get a pick. It was just a sneaky, the sneaky, hidey, smoky play from, I don't know what that means, but it's a thing now, from, uh, I think it was uh, Angel, I think. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Either way, it allowed them to control middle and get the, the man advantage. So it's like uh, Na'Vi this time around. With the pistols now, and they're in, you know, in a heavy investment and pressure game falling short. Now they're going to go, go and rely upon this, uh, this quick play into the A bomb site. If they can get this bomb planted, that will be a fantastic result. A couple frags to boot would be a nice bonus, but let's see what they're going to get. Angel already spraying down Seized. Quite blind though, that one flash, that pop flash doing excellent work. And here goes Edward with the Tech oh 9. Boy. He's going to get two quick kills. And that is fantastic damage there. Oh, that nade. Very nice there from Adren. But has to finish them off here. And Harvey could even win the round from this position. But good moves here from he knows Adren. Those angles. Look at that. That was perfect peak there from Adren. Straight into his face. Nice snap by Flamey. Two versus one now. And Starix with his knife out. He hasn't got a pistol at all. What? What? Uh, Starix. Go to his corpse. What, where's, where's the gun? Is it in the corner there? I don't see... Maybe... Maybe... There's a gun here. But maybe he tried to pick up a gun. Maybe he threw his gun around about when that nade came in. Oh, I can only no. imagine he threw his gun when the nade came in and the nade blew his gun away. <laughs> no, surely not. That's the only explanation. Surely not. That would, the chances of that are very slim. That would be hilarious. That's the only explanation. So, double orps now. One for either side. War has begun. Oh, the war has ended. Kucha gets taken out by Edward. Bit of an anti-climax there. Not even sure if he got to fire it, but... Oh, Angel. This is a boost we see from Peter on CLG. He smokes things off and then goes for the orp shot. If he had not, he might have seen that little elbow of Guardians there. He's going to just brazenly walk in now. His position has been known, but again, this is, a, this is something that uh, may be relatively new that we're seeing. So CT smoke off there, walk through the smoke and jump up onto those boxes and get three frags over the top. Interestingly, Angel basically fired all bullets, but like the last 20 in that four there. It's a bit awkward. Edward, though, coming in with another frag up middle. And the support is there from Dozier. But that means their defense on A is stretched incredibly thin. In fact, all that stands in the way of oh. between them planting the bomb and that site is Dozier, but he's standing a bit too far away and he won't be able to stop that from happening. So he's going to have to just play it safe at the moment. But there's three players left, two of which quite injured here. Hellraiser certainly have a chance to bring this one into play, but Guardian at Forklift with that AWP is going to provide some level of trouble. That's for sure, there's the quick flick, and Seize will get finish, or will f sorry, finish off Dozier as well. So 4-1. to one. You've got to be annoyed if you're Seized. Yeah. Because he opened the door and immediately got greeted by a nade and got naded after 45 HP. From uh, Angel. They won the round though, so it's all good. They did indeed. And uh, these, so many of these rounds have been so taxing for Hellraisers. You can see that money is like really weird. They have enough for an AWP and like a FAMAS and two people are stuck on pistols. Just so that they can have a chunk of nades. But, but yeah, M4 and FAMAS hit. So strong. Because you see he's spraying massively through that smoke. 
He, they're expecting uh, an eco here, or maybe a false fire, probably an eco. But he's just spraying as much as he can through that smoke, not allowing them to get any edge. See somebody in events as well. Uh, let's see. Seize is in a position to throw Molotov, actually, but he's going to rotate to the uh, boost spot. But he could have Molotov'd him out of the vent straight away. And uh, were well, not for that smoke, his colleagues over towards B could have punished. But never mind. So they really want to go where they feel like Hellraisers have the least men at the moment because, although that sounds obvious, Hellraisers could very, be, could very well be stacked in a place here. They know that their buy is a little bit weird. So it's like after clearing out vents, they want to just go for this B play, but Angel's in a very interesting position with the 5-7. Going to snap off two players. Adren picks up one as well, and this is not going so well here for Na'Vi. Three players for Hellraisers, two for Na'Vi as the bomb is down. Nowhere near the B-bomb site at the moment. They need to pick that one up and sprint it on over to get that plant. It's going to be Zeus who's going to pick that one up and go for this plant. And he is alone now. Alone against three. Our razors look quite strong in this. If they take this fight together, there should surely be very, very slim chance here for Zeus. He's got one HP now thanks to that bit of spray. And he will get eliminated as our razors survive with all three. And... That is certainly going to be a sigh of relief here. Because they're going to kind of break Na'Vi a little bit here. They did get the bomb down. So they might have a little bit of cash here to get a buy through. Which they will. But it's, it's a little bit shaky to be honest. And once again they're in a position where. Because they just won around, Their money bonus has been reset. So they're on eco if they lose this. And that's a chance for Hellraiser to take, to take a really huge lead. Alright. So only one player can't buy from stuff here on the Na'Vi side. Might see, uh, yeah, we could see one Galil buy from the player who had uh, plus 3,000. And the one who had uh, sub 3,000 will get an AK drops for him. But look at the lack of nades on the T side here. We saw some nice executes on a previous round towards the A site, which was actually, I think, a force buy there. But it had uh, late Molotov oh! coming in. <laughs> Guardian, though, is a dirty boy indeed. Nowhere is safe when Guardian is rolling with the big green gun. Now oh, he's going to be boosted for a closer look at the mid area. Just gonna clean clean things out like an exterminator. We have a push meanwhile on from the B bomb site. Are they going to check Toxic though? Who is that in there? It's gonna be Starrex. Oh, he's seen the gun. There's a first frag. Oh, it doesn't get a second one. Adren will take him down and hold the site at least for now. I know he's alone though and they're kind of pushing him now. Gonna be sandwiching in potentially the bomb is towards B as well. I don't think it's spotted, but now it'll be spotted. They've seen the bomb rotation from uh, Kucha. Well, he, as there's just two of them left alive, he might just be feeling like, okay, I just gotta survive here. Gonna find the head of Zeus, but Guardian's hungry. He's gonna get the quick flick so fast, and that's an open A bomb site. And oh, Adren denied as well. It was smart though from Hellraiser. They lost the man early on. They decided, okay, we, we're down. We're in a disadvantage to win this round now, all of a sudden. Let's try to push B storage and get some info. Because uh, because what they can also do is once they take B storage, if there's no one there, they can just leave a guy hidden in B storage and then rotate that other guy back to A. So they've got a good defense on A, good warning system on B, and they're laughing. Kucha with the MP9 here. Bit of extra money on him, so he's going to spend it. Got to splash the cash on a little MP9. Fisher Price gun. Fires plastic darts. Well, sometimes you could find yourself a frag. So, Na'Vi expecting the eco. All going to be committed to the A-bomb site here. Going to use a Molotov to clear out a close position. And C's going to get the first frag. Not before getting dinked, though. 8 HP on him. We've got CTs hiding around the smoke. Angel there as a teammate's going up the ladder. Have a look. Adren's going to be taken out there. Angel's still in the smoke. Going to push it now. Potentially get a flank on some of these players. Oh, Zeus gets dinked as well. 8 HP. Angel finishes him off as well. Guardian getting a frag onto Kucha. But it's one versus two now. And this changes everything. Oh, we got the AWP as well, Flamey. Very dangerous. He's going to hear that as well. Look at this, creeping all the way around the back. Flamey never knew what hit him. And there you go. Picks up the AWP as well. And the CZ, why not? Oh, the Tech9, sorry. So, good result there for Na'Vi. That's really important. Again, I mean, Na'Vi are in a position where their money bonus was reset. They're going to be on eco. Harry's are going to be building up loads of rounds and, and free money had they not won these rounds. So... It's a really good job by Na'Vi, and they're close to breaking Hellraisers now and, and evening up this game. Yeah, so still two rounds behind, but uh, Hellraisers are stretched. 
And again, you can see the paranoia through that smoke as well. But nobody's shooting the top of the box there. So maybe Na'Vi are not familiar with the tactic. I mean, sees he was uh, shooting the boot spot on the A site, but not actually the boxes in A main, which is uh, how that smoke was abused earlier. So looks like uh, some st some still some tricks in the bag that Na'Vi may not be aware of. Guardian getting the first frag and not going well for Hellraisers just yet. There's more than a minute on the clock and they've three men down now. This looks like a round for Hellraisers unless somebody goes nuclear here for the uh, Hellraiser side. But now it's Kucha and he's in a position where he can't even go for a save. He will get absolutely just put straight in the blender there. Didn't even put the top on first. Got bits, entrails flying all over the place. Hellraisers get completely wiped out by Na'Vi. And just to quickly point something out to you. This area here, they smoke off here, then they jump up there and get the pick over there. But Starix, he was aiming here instead. So, something that we have to watch out for at Katowice because they do not seem aware of that, Dan. Yeah, it used to be something that was in the meta like a long time ago and kind of went out of fashion. But, uh, yeah. Like baggy jeans. Indeed. Thank God. Here we go. Quick push here into the A bomb site. And uh, so far, so good. Fenavi, two quick kills. Going to be uh, cleaning up the flank as well. Oh, I lost nobody. So they're going to be building up a lot of cash with this one. And uh, definitely quite a few rounds to play with, so that's going to be helpful. Okay, just uh, Zeus dying. And one thing that I like at the moment is that some teams are finally saying, okay, let's practice the jumping boost, because that's a really safe way to get somebody on, the, uh, on this spot over here. Oh, uh, Titan do that, right? Was it Titan? I think I it think. was Titan, yeah, this spot here. Because the problem is, is that if you boost up from the barrels below, it's, it's um, as we can see, the, the timing for the T's, they can just spray it down. So you can't really do it safely, but that, people can do it safely, and there's no sound cues. So. All right, so trend straight into the vents. Zeus is going to get taken out immediately. Second frag onto Edward. That's almost mid in control. There's still Guardian to contend with, though. He's going to be a bit careful now. Look how he just swings and annihilates people with that AWP. There's one revenge frag onto Kucha. Still a man advantage for Hellraisers. And uh, that nade is not going to find anybody as Guardian is more advanced. But they're quite limited on their attack now. Only three players to try and take a site here. And I think we have... Uh, no, we don't actually. I mean, one thing that's been going well for Na'Vi is that they've just been generally winning the picking battles and uh, this is the first round where it's not gone so well for them but Guardian's still alive so that's really helpful for them you can see how good he's been on the AWP and there's, there is another player Flamey might just peek out and get caught here that Molotov's going to force him out of his position Guardian gets flashed just as the peek comes or rather the escape from the flames comes so he doesn't spot um, Flamey at the back of the site moving around it's going to be Seize who takes him down but that's pretty free that's going to be good here. Three on three now with that smoke down. Guardian going to be covering. So Dren gets taken out as he moves to headshot. And things looking very good all of a sudden. Na'Vi saving the round so far. But it is Angel left now. He's going to be just chilling. He's not got enough time to even get there at this point. So what a, yeah, what a really strong save. Thanks to uh, Seized and Guardian with, with How four frags between them. did they manage to do that? Well, Guardian, firstly, and then just, just such a nice coordinated push in onto the B-bomb site. And the flames, one of the key things uh, key things there for me was was actually the flames that was that, that was uh, the firebomb that was thrown into the back of the site. I think it was by Seized. Because then if, even though Guardian was flashed, so he couldn't capitalize on, on the uh, on, on the reposition from Flamey. Flamey was then in a like much more terrible position and Seized actually saw where he was. So he could easily get a frag there. So that's, that's the, the B-bomb site completely clean and smoked down and they have the site. So it's... Then, yeah, it's, it's just very well executed by Na'Vi there. Okay, so Na'Vi take, a take the lead now. On the less favoured side, it must be said. The uh, the T side. I don't know if that smoke went where Angel wanted it to. I think he was trying to bounce it off the rim it could be to as well. be more centralised. Like throwing the smoke, then expecting them to spam at the top and then peek out to try to kill them. Oh no! <laughs> he gets caught just moving though. That's a bit of a disaster for him. Okay, so early advantage for Na'Vi. Well, quickly eliminated as Edward has fallen as well. Those are going to try and look through this little crack. But, uh, oh, he somehow finds the frag as well. C started shooting first with an AK, no less. But went the way of the CCs, as does the next frag. Flamey taking down Zeus Guardian just about misses him there. And 
he will be taking down my Flamia as well. So, we look like we're in a position for Hellraiser to tie things up once again. However, Starex is carrying the bomb. And Dozia is quite low health on the site. Going to get Dink though to 21 HP. That's going to make Flamey's job easier for him. So Flamey with another frag. Big round for him. 6-6. Yeah. Six, six. Four in the bag there for Flamey. So yeah, this is another really back and forth match here. And uh, if we look at the economy, so it looks better for Na'Vi. However, they're not too looking super healthy. I mean, they can afford to lose one more round. And it's Hellraisers that are really in trouble here. But uh, only uh, three more rounds, including this one. Left in this half. Ooh, that's a nice shot by Guardian. Already making things awkward here for Hellraisers. And they've been doing, again, so well overall on just these early picks. Na'Vi seems to get the better of Hellraisers. I mean, Flamey to take down Starx over at B Storage. He was alone, though, as the push is coming in towards the A site for Na'Vi. And Hellraisers have nobody on the site itself. The closest man is on short at the moment. Dozier. They are going to be getting rotations in, but this is going to be tough here. The nades all in place. Dozier is going to flash in and move forwards. See what he can find as that bomb. It looks to get planted by Zeus. And they all have positions here. Oh, Guardian just moving there, re-smoking. Using that smoke perfectly. Look at that. Wow. Great shot there from Guardian using the smoke like an expert. He's waiting for them to move into his crosshairs. There's two left now. Edward's going to deal with Dozier just on Angel now against two players. He knows where they both are. Quick frag found there onto Edward, but Zeus gets the better of him. Six to seven as Na'Vi are climbing ahead now in the last rounds of this first half. Yeah, this back and forth is real. But we are going into the closing stages of half one. Na'Vi with a one game lead and a one round lead again. Guardian will continue his reign of terror with this AWP. See if he can find somebody on this eco. Going to have to be careful as Angel is charging towards his position. Standing right in the smoke there. Barely gets touched by that grenade as well. Going to try and pop flash his way in. But uh, Guardian will straight up shoot him in the gut. Edward follows up on Kucha. Left to 5 HP. So far, so good for uh, Na'Vi. Flamey's already been tagged, and Dozier will fall to Guardian as well. So, Starrick's clean things up here on the B-bomb site. Insta-trade coming in there. Zeus finishing off Flamey. And only one player down as we go into the last half for Na'Vi, so they will be laughing. I love how fast Guardian is. Like, the angle that he had initially, he's expecting a player to be much further away on the peak which would give him more time to take a shot, but he gets peaked really, really fast, close range, but he's still ready to take the shot. That's, that's pretty... That's, that's a really one of the harder things as an AWPer, like shifting your focus, reacting like that, but Guardian, obviously, one of the best AWPers in the game, in the business. Yeah, I like how his mouse can be anywhere, his uh, crosshair, and he can just snap someone regardless of where they appear on the map. Or if he swung past them, he can swing straight back and shoot them first time, almost every time. Oh, that's a beautiful bit of fire there. That's going to force Angel out of his hiding spot. And the cost for that was really, really low for Zeus. So what an investment there. That's going to have Na'Vi 5 against 4 now. As again, it would look as if they want to get that A push happening. This time, though, Hellraisers actually have people on the site. So that should give them a market improvement on their potential to try to hold this. And it's not working out so far. It's two quick frags there from Na'Vi. Just leaving Adren and Flamey in response. It's going to have to be big from Flamey, but he gets absolutely zilch. Adren coming in from Connector. Just getting a whiff of damage there, but it's going to be the frag on Starix, but still so much work to be done in this last round of this first half. As in go the nades again. And he's going to find the frag. And there you go, 9-6 to six, Na'Vi with a pretty strong uh, T-half. I like how Adren took cover there in mid and then tried to... Tr uh Wall bang to get the frag there. Nice little uh, tidbit. But it is Na'Vi with a three round lead going into the pistol. And now they're in a strong position. They still need to win the pistol. But uh, one game up and three rounds up in the first half. They can't be complaining. Especially on the T side. What a great performance. Yeah, yeah. That's really strong from them. And, uh, and Kucha, oh, he only has two kills. Yeah, I mean, he was not able to really do all that much. Their defense did feel very very stretched and labored here, but Na'Vi, they were finding those picks. You've got to hand it to them. Well, now we do have that pistol. Can it be different here? The aggressive future of that orb is going to be really be useful if he does decide to pick it up. 
in these rounds for Hellraisers. Ooh, the fast kill from Angel. He is always opening up these pistol rounds for Hellraisers. And that's going to be them into the A bomb site. So it's going to have to be that retake scenario here for Na'Vi as they do find their way up short very fast now. They might just beat Hellraisers to the punch. That bomb is quite far still, so they could maybe retake some of these key positions. Edward goes in. What a shot onto Angel. Still players to find, though. Two at the back of the site. It's very hard for them to get on top of this now, but they do have time to work with. Despite not having a kit, they're already there on the site. So yeah, it does find Starix on the outer catwalk, but the trade from Guardian comes in. 3 HP for him, though. Can't like his chances in surviving all that long, much longer. Edward, though. Very close now. Can they just get the sandwich going? Gooch out with these eagle shots here. Gets a good tag. That's Edward down. It's on Guardian with 3 HP. Surely not. We'll get eliminated. And that's a good pistol taken by Hellraisers. So they will be in with a chance at the burning momentum here. Yeah, that's a great start for them. Let's see how long their, this winning streak can continue on the CT side. Sorry, uh, the second half I meant to say, not CT side. They are on the T side now. Two Gilos, double Mac 10 coming out, and an AK-47 for Mr. Kucha, who will be carrying the bomb to boot. It's going to be left uh, in a safe place. And you can see the spread of the T's here as they make sure they don't get flanked. Also, Nate Adren's passive position in A main. Edward, I think, maybe had a quick peek there. But uh, other than that, general passivity. I've got a double Mac 10 push now towards the B bomb site. And they're going to have a sneaky peek around the mid area from there, as Edward is the first to fall on the echoing uh, Navi side. Well, the fourth fight, in fact. See a scout on Starix. The Deagle coming up, but not for long, as uh, Guardian will fall to Kucha. So looking uh, pretty good so far for Hellraisers. They've eliminated most of these players. It's a little bit scary though. Flavie's going to have to be careful. Doesn't get, he doesn't get eliminated by Starx with that scout. They can leave Starx alive if they want to. I mean, they shouldn't. They should just care about getting the round at this point. Them surviving with a 5-7 and a scout armor, that's, that's that's fine. But losing players here, that is damn. They can't really afford to give up. Oh, they are going to get Starx and Zeus though, as they jump around the map. So eight to nine now. Hellraiser is close to tying things up with Na'Vi, and uh, Na'Vi on the full eco. So, would like to see a stack or, or some aggressive play, just, just, some, just mix it up a little bit, keep it interesting. And it uh, looks like they are going to go for a little bit of a stack here. Okay, so Dozia with the uh, longest range EU. To try and uh, look for a push here, but a push is going to be coming towards A. What a greatly timed grenade. Oh, the spray down as well. Fantastic flash from a teammate there. And uh, that will be a massive cleanup for Flamey. Three players for him. It's the small things there, like knowing to try to, to get a pop flash for your teammate and that's kind of a spot and that timing. That's like a very small thing, but the result is huge. Absolutely. So I, I really like that. That's actually very smart. Yeah, you can see the uh, Hellraisers are a well-oiled team indeed. And having great timing means great results. Sounds like a washing powder advert, but never mind. It seized last one standing now, 14 HP. There is one gun down somewhere on the map. Maybe he can try and find it. Otherwise, uh, could try and play for exit frags or just try and get one sneaky frag on someone again. 14 HP in a USPS. He has uh, but a hope, and it's hope in hell. You're making me think of Hakan from uh, Street Fighter when you're saying that they're well oiled. oiled. So that improves their, their strength, their power. It's time to oil up. <laughs> the range on their SPDs. Okay, Seize could get a frag onto Flamey if he peeks in the right direction. But I think he's going to wait for someone to go past. Maybe wishful thinking. And win the engagement with Dozier, unsurprisingly. Let me move on to the next round. So, scores are tied once again as Hellraisers continue the abuse of the less equipped Navi players, but uh, they're fully equipped now. Guardian with that orb. The lack of nades though, yeah, on the Navi side. They've got four smokes, but uh, not much else. Yeah, that's that's the, the horrible thing for them. Ooh, no armor on Guardian either. They they really, best case for them is that Hellraisers take these these angels and and that Navi come out on top here. But so far they're taking over middle. Zeus has to come out with a big response. Only gets one kill 
and that's how Rose is now in middle. More challenges coming in though. Cease doesn't want to give it away to them. And oh, Guardian almost gets taken down. Dozier so holding the, the back angle and he has no armor as well. So quite surprised that Guardian even survived that going glass cannon, but he did make it out of there alive to find another day. But in comes the push, three men together on the A site for Hellraisers. There is a man at the back here for Na'Vi. Now this is important that Seize gets something, but he doesn't. He gets that nothing, and that might even encourage a save now from Na'Vi because Guardian doesn't have any armor, and Star X has no kit. This is, uh, this is a lot to ask for these two players after live. Especially considering that their buy was just this round, so they're going to have to eco in the next one and uh, and try again in the following round. Yeah, it's starting to look difficult now. And you do have to wonder if we are going to see Mirage. Mirage will be the third map, should it be required. It's quite cool that we have this uh, this little thing in the middle here. You know, this, is, this is new. That. Yeah, it shows the results of the... That. Shows the result of the map, and the round, and uh, how it ended, how many people fell, what exactly was the collateral damage. Yeah, and, it's, and, and that, that's the difference as well, because the CT rounds were picked up early for for um, for Hellraisers on, on their side before the momentum shifted, and it's, it's going the other way now that if for Hellraisers, they're picking up their early T rounds, and that's, that's more devastating. The, it's, it can usually be much more impactful. CTs need that money to build up, and so far it's, it's a struggle. Guardian's still got his AWP alive, though, and his teammates are going to get that buy going. It is pretty lackluster. Famous is 5-7 on Starx. Very limited grenades here. Hellraisers have already been working away the grenades early on in the round with their beginning pressures. And Guardian's going to get smoked out here. What does he do? Does he reposition, or does he try to go through the smoke? It looked like he wanted to go through the smoke, but Hellraiser's moving up short now. And... Uh, there's two players for Na'Vi that could actually deal with the short push here. This Guardian watches Connector. Hellraiser's well, taking positions, but it's going to be Zeus and Cease to pick up two kills. Trace coming in immediately, though, as we go into a three-on-three -three situation. That's going to leave Hellraiser's wanting this A bomb site right now. But there it is. Guardian will win the AWP battle against Kucha. Oh, an angel caught in the back there. Look at that toying with him with that 5-7. Picks up the kill. It's on Starx though against Flamey. Flamey's got that health advantage going for him and another round for Hellraisers. Okay, so... Yeah, things getting uncomfortable, getting difficult, getting hard for Na'Vi as uh, Hellraisers extend their lead by a round. Now you see the Eco coming out for Na'Vi. Got a CZ, Deagle, 5-7 and uh, P250. So... They'll be trying to play the close ranges, maybe not under the Deagle so much, but definitely the CZ. Capable of two, maybe three frags, depending on the situation. Seized is, uh, I think he's pushed up into door actually. Coming in. It's not looking too good here for Hellraiser's on the entry, but can they save this, James? Oh, they've got a man disadvantage. The bomb is on the site, but the longer it takes to plant it, the closer the CT's uh, net of destruction will become. Seize finally gets taken out in the uh, squeaky door area. So at least there's that. But Zeus gets in the next frag. Now it's down to Flamey and Angel. Flamey trying to play for trades, but uh, his teammate's going to fall without any angle for him to try and get some revenge. So three versus one. Now he's going to get straight digged as well. So it's all, all of the uh, towers have come crumbling down there. All come crumbling down. Structure wasn't safe. Many people died. Bomb has been win. It's not very nice. Health and safety. It's not a very nice thing to leave us with there. <laughs> the I, thought, I thought it was down. a nice. I thought it was a nice handover. All right. Eleven to ten. So, Navi, if you missed it, they managed to take Dust to sixteen to eleven. It's a really close game, despite being sixteen to eleven. Certainly much closer than that score would suggest, but can have a fast push it would seem here from Hellraisers in towards A. They're just walking it now, but they might just try to walk and play contact here straight into the site. They're going to pop flashes to get them through the close positions and sees at the back now. He knows what's happening. His teammates are quickly rotating and uh, looking for those shots. Guardian oh, gets one onto Dozier. That bomb yet to go down. Angel going to be punching in the buttons now to get that plant. 
And Gun is waiting for him to peek out. There it is. It's a shot, but Flamey from on top of the smoke is going to eliminate him. What, where is Flamey even standing at this point? I don't even know, but he does get eliminated. And Na'Vi will pick up the round, but they couldn't really have won it with slimmer margins than that. That is a slim margin indeed. They could pick up two ops so if they wanted to and put a second one onto the B-Bob site, but they will just hold one for Guardian. And Sarix will continue with a silence them four, so Hellraiser's now in a position where they could buy. And 11-11, they don't want the Na'Vi side to uh, grow any more, any, mon any more money. You can see there, some of them are floating around 500, but a fair bit being spent on the Na'Vi side. So Hellraiser is going to be uh, trying to keep up that pressure. We should be out of this pause in about 30 seconds. So, so we can see like two diffusers there uh, with the last two, two round wins for Na'Vi, which means that, you know, as you can see, their money's kind of decent because they managed to get two diffusers despite losing those rounds. So with the economy being so shaky as it is for Na'Vi at the moment, if they were to lose this one here, that's that's really crushing because Hellraiser still have decent money and they could just basically bring that momentum into the and, and those advantages just to close out the map. Um, so Na'Vi, this is really key that they actually try to win this one cleanly because look at, I mean, they've been having a hard time. Like each of those two defuse wins, they lost a lot of people. I think they survived with one and then survived with, with two, I think it was. So it's been really rough for them, ha like having to, it seems almost too easy for Hellraisers to get these bombs, these bombs down. Yeah, it may well be. And we're coming to the kind of, we're heading towards the clutch region of this map and it may end up being hard to pick a winner so it looks like we are back in the match now again okay, guys you've got a you can have an AWP of your own once we hit 450,000 followers so make sure you hit that follow button 11-11 Hellraisers versus Na'Vi got a force fire coming out for Na'Vi Angel with just a tech 9 Kucha though will have uh, his AWP and Guardian will be his opposition, but he's going to be holding an angle towards the B bomb site right now. And he may have an engagement in Angel. He's just going to keep charging up. Well, we'll be scared off by the nades. Got a teammate in an aggressive position. And he's going to take a different angle with a little gap through the smoke. Angel <laughs> is going to be sent flying like a missile. He just came straight out of the silo, Dan. Went into the air. And sailed to the floor. Yeah, that was really nice. The, sorry, his, his position wasn't spotted, even though it was really close. Gave him just the extra bit of surprise, kind of time to get those shots on and not die himself. So, five on four. They've kind of given up the idea of B at all. And uh, Navi, they do have two people in the vent room. I'm not sure if they're looking to boost someone. In fact, Guy is just going to rotate. In fact, they do have someone in the vents already. So, Quite smart of Guardian to rotate here. They've got more than enough response time. We have that push on B storage from Na'Vi. So they know that nothing's there at the moment. Guardian gets eliminated in middle. And the push is going to arrive onto A very, very so shortly here. Hellraisers. Now with the even... Even the, uh, having even things up, it does look better, but looks like Starks will control middle, but in comes the push. Seized has to do magic here at the back of the site. Gets two quick kills, and that's going to give his side a great advantage, and they are going to close it on through with three players left alive. Oh, that was such a key man to take down, but they couldn't take down Seized. Just when they needed it, but uh, you can see... Not sorry, Hellraiser is going to get that three round loss bonus and bring out the Tech Nines, a few nades, those with the armor. So they're going to try and apply some pressure here. Potentially get a bomb plant, worst case scenario. In fact, I think there probably is. As all five, well, all f well, four of them actually, are headed towards B with one potentially going for event play. They're going to push the smoke as it comes in. Nice flash there. Adrenaline going to be blind and indefensible. Two wow. great frags with a P250 there. Edward knows if a potential flank is coming. And he has seen Angel in the smoke. He will get taken out. So they have position for the retake. But can they retake? That is a question. One man disadvantage here. And they have the AWP as well. Yeah, this is really rough. They may even decide to just give this one up even. I mean, potentially it's going to be very hard against these Rec9s. 
But it's Edward. Oh, wow. Edward. What a push from Vence. And combined with the flash and the distraction, he makes it work. And they're going to actually save this. I, I was really worried for them that they'd actually even lose their weapons there. But thanks to Edward, it was clean. He got four kills that round. Brilliant save. But how is they got the bomb down? That's what they wanted. And now they got a really sick buy. Look at this. All the nades for them. All of the nades. All the nades. All the damn time. Two orbs as well for Na'Vi. And Flamey has that uh, Molotov. And we've seen how versatile it can be. I mean, my favorite one is, is on Vents, so you can take mid more easily. But they can really use that for so many things. But Guardian going to be challenging Angel right up top there. He will succeed. Yeah, I'm wondering if he... Uh, if they, I guess they saw him run away, which is why they've just boosted Kuchok quickly for the repeak. He's going to get a second frag as well, this time onto Zeus. Three versus three, though. But a uh, minute 15 on the clock, and Hellraisers have a lot of time to uh, stretch these CTs out, to pick a site, to clear it, and to plant. Cease is in a good spot here. They could actually just fall back on towards B in middle if they wanted, because Cease is going to know exactly what's up really quickly. May even decide to push even further, but his position is quite strong where it is. So he might not want to take the risk. And look at this. That must be for short there, for the end of short. And uh, they might be trying to move through connector, but Kucha takes down Cease. That is a sick shot. Finding Seeds there. Edward has to move into Seeds' place, and this is going to make their defense even more stretched. Oh my goodness, Edward's got a big task on his hands. They are going to wrap onto his position, and he's got no support, no comrades to help him. Starix is so far away. Okay, giving away his position now, as the two players are going to be finding him. There's the third one, and that's really. Why it was so tough, but in comes Starix. He's going to get eliminated as old Dozier. Hear him, hears him coming a mile off. And uh, considered taking the orb, but he won't. 13 to 12. Okay, so Guardian with 10k, so you know the orb's coming back out again for him. Will he drop to another player, though? That is a question, or will they even need it? Double orb's coming out once again here for Na'Vi. So I'm not quite done with it yet. Let's have a look at where Starix is going. He's heading towards B and playing it solo as they have three men in the mid area, which is uh, fairly standard, the earliest part of the round. For the CTs, Guardian not getting uh, much luck behind that smoke. Kucha is going to take him out anyway. And man advantage now. Make that, uh, well, still a man advantage. As the trade comes in, it's Zeus and Kucha. Edward will follow them to the grave, taken down by Angel. So four versus two. Again, lots of time on the clock in. Two sites with uh, uh, only two CTs to defend. Look at Flamey's position as well. They've already lost a as the rotation comes in, but can they get an angle? Oh, there's an angle for an Angel, which will close the angle for Starix. And now this surely is a round for Hellraisers. There's only one person remaining at C's. He has nothing but a USP armor. Picked up Guardian's uh, orb. We'll get one frag, but I think that will be that. He's going to be taking the shot, gets eliminated by Adren. And we're all tied up 13 to 13. And Hellraisers must win this map to keep themselves in the running, to bring themselves onto Mirage, to give themselves a chance to play flip side and get themselves in the, the final standings for the LAN finals in Kiev for Star Series Season 12. It's going down to the wire at the moment as we have Guardian on the AWP. His teammates are not much else. What could they pull off with this as he goes in close here? And they actually play a little bit of aggro on to a main with Guardian. Oh, he gets the shot onto a Dren. And that's an early man advantage for Na'Vi. Okay, so there's a push coming towards B now from Angel. But look at the position of Zeus. He is in a position to get a kill here if he comes out at the right time. Got to look as there is a second player here. Doesn't oh, he oh. finally gets the first frag. He could have had two or three there, but only manages one. And his teammate Starx will fall on a site. Guardian with a trade. C's coming in as well. And it's three versus one. Oh. Dozier falls. And Na'Vi could take this 2-0. Oh my god. Just As long as you got Guardian with that AWP, there's trouble. But it's not just Guardian that's been pulling out some big, big frags here for his team. As we can see, you know, you've got Seas and Edward have been doing fantastically on hitting up the kills. But across the board, it, no one's really... No one's really uh, letting the side down at all on the, the fragging game here for Na'Vi. And Guardian with the quick timing to be storage, but players from Hellraiser's fast to be storage. So he's not going to find out any action 
just yet. Very, very horrible buy here from Hellraisers. They don't want to let Na'Vi get to that 15. They don't want to play for the overtime. But can they get these picks? That's the game that they have to rely upon here. Not many nades to work with. Oh, are they being baited to go towards the B-bomb site? Because Na'Vi have completely disregarded mid and they've put three people in B. So Hellraisers are like, oh look, we've got control of the B-bomb site. They're going to try and push it and get their frags anyway. Zeus first to go down, Starrick soon to follow. Yeah, in a trade kill, Guardian is going to try and hold things down from CT, but he has uh, there's a numbers advantage on the Hellraiser side, and there's not so much he can do now. He's been smoked off. No choice but to rotate to upper. So if they went for the bait there, has not gone in their favor. But Angel is set up to take down anybody foolish enough to venture into middle. And, oh, wow, Cease gets the kill. That's going to put it to a two-on-two. Two. Smokes have cleared now, and that's going to allow Guardian some angles up top on the ramp area there. And here they go, make their way, and there's a bit of fire to help them out. Seize going to spot one. There goes the spray. Guardian goes down. Seize can't finish it off, though. It'll be Adren to take the round. Three kills in the bag from Adren, and Hellraisers have tied it up. And <laughs> Ooh, wow, we're going to see the force. Yeah. They do not want overtime here, but look at all they have. After such a strong performance in the round prior, they have an M4 and uh, AWP. And a bunch of pistols. Seize with no armor. One smoke. And a flash. Now this this is the car. This is not even jumble boot jumble cell. This is car boot cell right now. I'm talking one of those Fiat pandas with like a it's a green car, it's got a yellow door because it was stolen from another car. This is proper jumble cell. The entire A site has been uh, abandoned by the remaining Navi players. Four versus three now. Yeah. Sorry, five versus three. This is a very strong position for Hellraisers to take map two. Uh, Guardian cannot lose this off in this round. He's got to keep that alive. And uh, it couldn't look worse to them at the moment. Angel will find Starix. And uh, you better believe that they are going to be looking to hunt down some of these players. The problem is, is that we can see the long range Guardian's playing with. It's hard to actually get onto his position from, from that area. So I'm surprised that they are even trying instead of going at least through middle, then connector maybe, or through vents, to try to get close to Guardian, because they know where he is. And two players have fallen to him already. How much more are they willing to sacrifice just for an opportunity at a shot on Guardian? Looks like nothing else, but... Yeah, resetting Na'Vi as they did has really hurt their money. And uh, they're going to have to see if they can bring it to overtime here, where the uh, Razors with this advantage will close it out. So Guardian's dropped some 5-7 uh, for a teammate. He's got full nades and a diffuse kit as well. He's the only person carrying a diffuse kit on the team. So we need to bear that in mind as this round progresses, should it come into play later on. So B's going to get shut down with nades. We've got f nades all over the place, in fact. Guardian holding an angle on A main. I think there was a quick pick from Angel, but he finds himself in mid at the moment. Guardian going to rotate his position again. He's only one of two people with a primary gun here for Na'Vi. So he needs to do as much as possible. Zeus, though, is going to get the first frag. Edward with a second one. We could see overtime here. They've moved the push into that B area, though, and the spray will come into play from Flamey. Takes down Starix. Doja eliminates Zeus. Got to make their way forward. Quick shot onto Edward. Drops him. And now it's all on Dozier. He's got Guardian and Seized to deal with. It's a good chunk of damage onto Seized. He's going to decide, you know what? Let's just make my way back to where He could try to fake Seize out. Seized has heard him running. Guardian's rotating straight away. Dozier's not going to bother to try to fake it out with the sound either. Dozier actually running all the way. And Guardian is set up on the best angle. He's going to hear the door. He's got all the time in the world. He lines it up. And Na'Vi and Hellraisers are going to go into overtime. MR3, 16k, I do believe. It is indeed. And this is something, this is an interesting situation because this is something that we've spoken to Sean Garrows about. And he says that. Um, you know, MR3 10k is better because there's no economy game in MR3 16k. You can pretty much fall by every round. And uh, so there's no advantage if you're on the T side. You can't break the C2 economy, more or less, unless they go crazy with some, some insane buy. So we're going to have a short delay before we begin here. 15-15. So a full buy from both sides here. Again, Navi will continue on the CT side of Hellraiser's on the T side. Who do you think the full buy favors, if anyone at all right now? Um, oh, Na'Vi are going to stay on CT, so I actually feel like Na'Vi will have a bit of a better time because we have to remember that they, ha they have been in the, I don't know how to say this without expletives, but 
they've been in a very poor place when it comes to the economy from the get-go on the CT side. So by a being able to s basically start with comfort on a co you know economic comfort on CT side, allowing them to actually have grenades as well as sniper rifles, as well as like all the stuff that they want, all the bits and bobs. Yeah, that's going to actually the bells and whistles. That's going to make a difference for them because they can even throw in double orbs. They 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 were never in a position where they could really go for double orbs feasibly, um, at least purchasing them. So. Speaking of orbs, then. Yeah, I, f I feel like, Navi, you're going to be feeling a bit better about this. Well, we have a very short break before we start the overtime, guys. Again, make sure you hit that follow button. When we hit 450k, one of you lucky people will be uh, winning this in a raffle. This will be open to everyone. And one of our subscribers will be winning this knife. Speaking of knives, Dan. Knife. Speaking of knives, at some point I'm going to raffle two of my knives off to subscribers. Are as you well. really? I am. I said I am, so I have to now. I can't. I can't deny people that. When is our money match? When is our money match? I think. Um, Do people? I don't know if everyone knows about this. We should re refresh there. Not really. Well, I don't knew Dan since you're the one who chucked it. So, I don't know how it. Why did I bring it up? Why did it? How did it come to this? I don't actually remember. Producer Reese. Does he remember? No, it was him. Oh, it was him. Oh, yeah, he said he would win in a Street Fighter match. And I, I, th I think that's fairly... And then, and then what happened? I think it's that? fairly obvious. But for some reason, despite it being fairly obvious, he was a significant advantage in this area. I was like, that's money match! <laughs> so I challenged James for money match. I had, I had an idea, right? We have to pick a version, though. I, think, I don't think we should play Ultra because neither, neither, neither of us have really played it. So we should probably stick to AE 2012 or something. That's fine for me. Where Kingdom was still already open. It's worse for you. It's worse to me. You. It's worse for you. Really? Why is that? You could pick any any version you want. I don't even care. What about third strike? I'll probably beat you in first strike. Well, actually. that's that's third strike is a bit of a stretch. It's gonna, considering I never played it. I, I if I wouldn't beat you in first strike, I'd be very surprised because you've never played it, and I've played loads of first strike. So. Yeah, I think that'll be a waste of time. But damn. So I said I, I said fine. Fun. I'll play a quake as well. I think. If we play Quake, yeah, you th yeah, yeah, you think you're smart, right? I don't think you can frag me in Quake. I don't think that's even gonna happen. What if you, you don't even see me, James? What if die? What die over and over again? You won't even see me. What if then <laughs> you use the keyboard that Razor sent you? What, and what? Well, just the keyboard? No, and but no mouse. No, and that the mouse. Is, but is you have to use the keyboard that Razor sent you, which currently oh, has oh that keyboard. Oh yeah, it has that, a W yeah, okay. then, but it doesn't have a, it doesn't have much else. Let's work. be honest. That would work. I can yeah, do we that. We could we could potentially do that. That work. Well, we can talk about it later because it's overtime, time for overtime time. Okay, so now we're starting off with loads of cash. You can see them actually having full buy. This has not really happened on their CT side, so it's going to be feeling a bit better. What are they going to do with this? Well, it's going to depend also what Harris is going to do on their approach. They've been so far working well on the picking game. In fact, Navi, in fact, we're getting the better of Harris on their dirty side with their picking game as well. So let's see if. Uh, how racers can win some of these early battles. At the moment, they're just playing defensively, making sure that if Na'Vi decide to get a bit aggro on A main or something, or B storage, that they can actually cover it. But now they've had enough. 30 seconds have passed. It's time to get the aggression on. Looking for that middle play, get some early, early peeks into middle. See our Guardian jump, so he only exposes himself uh, when he's beyond the peak of the jump. So he's exposed for as little time as possible. Already as falling. He is just looking for an information play. So Nade's coming into mid now. And uh, the CT's going to force the issue here. Zeus getting the first kill onto Adrenaline, but Dozier going to get a nice and easy pick in return. Push coming in towards the A site now. We've got counter. Molly's coming in, following Molly's onto the A site. Edward going to rip Angel down through the forklift. And another one. This is not going well for Hail Razors whatsoever. They only managed one frag. Edward cut two players down in quick succession. And after that, it was simply a cleanup operation. It was like uh, at night in London, Dan, when everyone's been drinking and they're running the streets ragged, and they just get picked up one by one by paramedics. <laughs> Cleaned off the streets, Dan. <laughs> I, just, I, don't, I don't say this. What I found funny in that round, though, was Zeus just, just running. It's like he completely abandoned the plan. He's ran straight through, through main. But look at this. Early on, we're going to have a quick play into Squeaky from Guardian. But no one's going to be there this time. So no luck for him, unfortunately. And 
Looks like Hellraiser is looking to go over the top here into middle to see what damage they can do. Lots of Molotovs allowing them to clean out all these positions and they've taken middle systematically. And now with that early map control, oh, another bit of flames. I think that went too deep here. Drin might get caught in the back potentially, but no, okay, no, the, the, the uh, Molotov did land in the right place. I like Arthur. how I like how Angel used the corner of the wall by the sandbag to make sure it landed in perfect position. But oh, the players in A are on in trouble now because the flank is going to be real here from Angel as he goes through the smoke. Will he find Edward in time? Flamey will beat him to it. Loses the jaw with C's. Guardian falls onto the site. Second frag for Flamey taking down C. So all of a sudden, the tide has turned here and it's four versus two in favor of Hellraiser. Starks has something to say about that. Although it's a pretty ambitious call, but with all the money that they have, why not give it a go? Take down the first player. Doesn't really lose all that much health. In fact, it's the grenade that really does all the damage. Down to seven, thanks to that grenade. Uh, just with an M4. Starix, though, picks off Kutcher as well. It's going to end there. 16 to 16. As each side is one around. And we're going to go to the last round of the first half. Scar, auto sniper, two orps in the hands of Navi. So they're really switching it up here for the yeah. last round, just using all the money that they have left over. And again, very, very much worth noting. Like, look at this buy. Scar, two orps, and they've still got like 6k in the bank. So there is no economy game to be played here in MR316k. Something that's definitely worth considering and discussing in the future. So a normal setup here from Navi. We've got Zeus uh, close in the middle. Going to be pick able to pick off Angel. He's super blind running through. And the, his teammates are, are stuck behind. They can't trade. It's going to be Navi. Zeus with another frag as well. Edward with the support of the Scar. And that is not working out. One by one, they walk out and die. That is not... That can't have been the plan here. Yeah, well, I, I actually... Uh Sean Garris has opened my eyes a bit, and I actually completely agree with the whole 16k thing, because uh, that, that, should, should that be possible as a last well, round buy after trading rounds? I guess it does. It also depends on... I guess it would be, it, be possible it, anyway. You can make an argument. You can also make an no argument way. saying that just having buy rounds also is, is a pretty cool way to, to decide it. Like it it's good as a spectator, like but, uh, but you know, in terms of being a purist, looking at it from a purely like Counter-Strike point of view, like for the game, I, I, I lean towards his argument with regards to the economy. How do you feel about it? In three seconds. I, I, I'm, I'm undecided still because it does, it does take away the, the, the economy a little bit, but I still think it can, means that we see more, more buy rounds, which I, I, I think is good. It, if you want to conclude something in a quick fashion, this is, I think this is a good, good approach, having more buy rounds. Mm, the buy rounds should decided by the team. Yeah. But you could argue that Byron yeah, is a reward of winning th th the previous. This is, this is a very big discussion for another time, as we are going to see the start of the second half of the first overtime here. Aggression going in as uh, Flamey gets close with the flashes. Deep smokes there onto B storage. Let's allow them quite information, quite, quite some information. And with that early pick on Guardian, things are starting off well for Hellraiser CT. Ooh, wow, that flash went in and C's completely missed the player, the CT basically going all the way across there into A main. So they have no idea that somebody's there. That could actually be huge because they think it's clear at the moment. Surely they do. Zeus turns around. The bomb as well. Trade though, coming in. Edward going for a quick peek. He will not be checking for Dozier's position here. Dozier standing on the, on the wood there and he may be in a position to win this round for his team. Gets a second frag there. And uh, it's down to one versus one now. Edward at 22 HP versus Adren. Edward has the bomb though, and he is rotating out of the sight. Adren hasn't heard him running. How long will it take him to realize? Well, it could always be a double back here from Edward as well. It's hard for Adren to really understand 100% what to go for. And Edward's cautious that he's going to be cut off. That's what you can, why you can see that he just uh, walks around the middle there, and that's given Edren just enough time to catch up. And by the time Edward's also planted the bomb and checked some of his positions... He's got 10 seconds as well. Has he given himself enough time to plant the bomb safely here? Oh, Adren's going to hear this. He's going to hear the plant as well. That means he can actually get really, really close here. Hasn't given his position away! Edward, there's no way that he can know how close he was. And the defuse comes in, so... I, I kind of like that no, neither player faked themselves out. Because sometimes you can kind of fake yourself out, make it a double too bluff. complicated. Exactly, and then you can kind of like run into them awkwardly or 
you know, this, that, or the other. But Adrenaline's like, well, he hasn't. I'm just going to assume he's not going to double back. Because he could very well have just sat in A main for a while and then eventually, with 10 seconds left, run into A and plant it. That, that could, that's very standard as well. But it wasn't to be. Okay, so we've got 2B, 2 mid, and 1A here for the CTs. Lots of nades being traded in mid, but the first frag goes the way of Kucha with an assist from Adren. Guardian is down. Navi plays, they are in position, but again, just nades coming in all over the shop as both teams battle for control. Very early on so far, a minute 15 to go. Seized will even things up here. It's been doing well with the AWP, got a few frags in the previous round as well, but did not get the W. Absolutely not, but the early pick is going to mean the world of difference here, despite it being even. Dozier gets a quick kill onto Zeus. He's going to go for the PK. He wants more, and he's going to find it. That is massive, and Kucha is eliminating this push from A main as well before it can get going. It's now Starks against four players. This is not going to happen. Dozier's going to eliminate him as well. And uh, Dozier took a risk with that, that extra peek into middle, but... That's that's also the fact that his silencer, it's very possible the guy from Vents didn't know where Dozier was because mm -hmm. he wasn't looking at his position and he killed him with the silencer on. So that gave him the ability to take that re-peek and the other dude didn't know exactly where he was going to be coming from. So silencer can be very useful, that stealth element. Okay, so I like how Dozier positioned the, the nade by standing against the car there to confirm the distance. And you can see the whole bubble of the smoke is inside A main as opposed to outside, so there's going to be no sneaking into the uh, boost spot by the terrorist. So very nice position there by Dozier. And Angel in a strong position. Oh, he went for an early reload there, gets a second frag anyway, and we could be looking at a third map here, Dan. It's not over yet, though. Edward and Zeus are left over. Zeus runs by the cold bodies of his teammates, his comrades. He is going to go down to 9 HP now after taking out Angels. Angels done devastating work for Hellraisers in this round. It's going to be hard to see how this round could be saved here for Na'Vi. Hellraisers have a great defense on A and on B, and there's no... Ooh. How do you push a site with an auto sniper? Oh, oh like that, apparently. That is how you do it, and that's actually crazy, because that the flames might be perfect. Oh! 6 HP on Dozier, he manages to get out of, out of the way in time, but Edward did see him. Oh, the grenade surely will finish him off here. It will. Edward barely just scoping out. Are and you they will serious? Get the kill as well, the auto sniper. I don't believe it. Just a Dren left over and a one on two now. They're both really low. This is ridiculous. In goes the fire for a Dren. And the bomb is down, and Zeus will finish it off. That is unbelievable. Not even the Clutch King with 22 ping could do that. <laughs> Oh man, how know. did Edward <laughs> clutch the round with an auto sniper versus that many opponents? And and what was ridiculous is that he was like skating around, completely exposed. Guy with the AWP is like shooting at him and just missing him. And he, then he, <laughs> he, misses, he just stops, scopes, then accidentally unscopes and then still gets a chance to kill him. I don't understand. How? How? I don't know what to say. Wasn't that 2 on 5? I think it was. Oh boy. Hellraisers. They, they, they do have... They cannot cross the yeah, line, they, they, Dan. They, they, they've had problems with It's not like we've been here before. I was just going to say the same thing. Flamey on the 30 bomb. Season Edward as well. Oh, my Guardian God. Guardian only one kill behind. So, if Hellraisers lose this, I do not know what I'm going to do with myself. I'm going to... Oh, my God. Guardian, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't cover it. Anything. He can't. Press escape. Press escape. Okay, let's look at skins. Jesus can't. Christ. I love that broken English as well. It's brilliant. Hey, look. Look at this. It's an AWP. Great. Marvellous. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. Uh, Guardian. Oh, Asimov's Asimov. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Follow the channel and maybe you can win one of these or something. I don't even know how many people, how many people saw that. Follow the channel maybe you can win one of them. How are you today, Dan? I'm alright. We have... Um, you been making anything today? So, guys. If you're joining us. If you're just joining us. We do have the winner of this best of three playing against Flipside Tactics for a the final spot in that awesome lineup for the Grand Finals for Star Series Season 12 in Kiev. So, that is what, that's what's on the line at the moment. So, Flipside Tactics. 
I don't know. How do you like their chances against Harry's or Navi? Because it could be either or that can pull through here. Because Harry's can still close this. I, seeing what we just saw may discourage you to think that perhaps they could get it over the line. So, James, what do you think? What do you think? Stop that. It's weird. This guy's lost his damn mind. <laughs> <laughs> Guardian has broken James in more ways than one. I know you're a fan of Guardian. I'm not a fan of your language. What's one my language? <laughs> Where do we start with that? I said How did Navi how are Navi still in this map? An <laughs> auto sniper. He didn't even have a skin on the auto sniper, Dan. I don't think he brings that out every day. <laughs> the, 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 I would love to see that again. On the T side as but, well. But it's not, it's not even like it was this like, super awesome, super clutch. It was, he was just like skating around, just like in completely exposed like, in a one on one against an Orpa. We just couldn't kill him. We could see the bullets like, coming from the Orpa, and he's just like, just scoping. Choke. Was that a choke, Dan? Did we see a choke? They were five on two, James. And he took one on one after one on one after one on one with the auto sniper. That's not supposed to happen. No. What they could have done is they could have, in, I mean, they could have all just, just hidden. Wait, was he they could was, have hidden? Was, was the he, last round? Was Edward carrying the bomb? Because I'm wondering if he wasn't, then they couldn't all like bunch together because they don't know where the bomb is, so they have to try and hold B as well. Maybe he's running distraction or something. Who knows? But still, it's just awkward, isn't it? It's just awkward. But I mean, what 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 do you do in that situation? It's a difficult it's, one. It's one if, of you, those if, you, if, you, if you hold an angle. Towards kind of between A main and squeaky from car, so you're not having a direct engagement with an auto sniper. Then how does that like? I suppose you're still covering a teammate on the site, but you could. Well, the thing know. is, right? Okay, so to win the rounds, they have to either kill the CTs or plant the bomb. Okay, it's the last round. It's overtime. Everyone has ridiculous money, stupid money, stupid amounts of money. Economy doesn't factor in. The only thing that factors in is winning the last round. So by letting them plant the bomb, they have to get a guy that's got a sniper rifle to, to either basically leave his teammate out cold who has to run to the site, and, and that's, that's, a, that's a good engagement, or just, just make them move to plant the bomb. They had, they had two men on the B-bomb site, so they weren't going to be planting on B. They had, they had five left alive, James. There's five of them. Five of them alive. I don't know. I feel like it's one of those situations where you're like, you're all alive. It's like, well, there's only two of them, right? So we just, I just, I just take this jewel. Oh, I died. I got four teammates, and then so someone else thinks the same. It's like, oh, you know, I got, f you know, three teammates left alive. I'm just going to take a shot. Oh, it's, it's three on two. Just still have an advantage. You know, I was, I was thinking I that know. maybe we should make a video on when to use an auto sniper, but I think it's actually quite a difficult one because just because just it, is, it. it is, it is <laughs> just always you use just it all the time. <laughs> hey, if yeah. it's over time, buy every round, hey. It's so, good. so we have. Th there is only one. S there's only like a couple of spots where you can say that it's not or not not like great. Not a great gun. Mm. I don't. I, I guess there are some spots where it's it's ideal, but it's very. You can use it in in pretty much all situations. The only situation that sucks is when when you have a, an op at really long range, like we saw there, because it just takes the op. You're supposed one to die. You're supposed to die. Yeah, because he he has to shoot. You, you would in have the to get two orpers as well. Yeah. But that's the funny thing, though, because of course, if he if you can hit them in the head with the auto sniper, then it's a one shot kill. But if you otherwise, the orp is always going to have an advantage because unless he hits you in the legs, he's going to yeah. kill you in one shot. But so there's less there's less pressure to get the first shot right because you can you've got another shot straight afterwards, which I think was the problem there. They, there was massive pressure for the uh, for the CTs to land the shot, whereas Edwards like all he can see is their head. But yeah, he's just got a mouse one. No problem, my friend. It's like a Tech 9, almost. Yeah, it's like a Tech 9 with a scope. I don't like the Tech 9. Me neither. I never buy the Tech 9. Me I pick neither. it up sometimes. I, 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 don't I, even throw, I, throw, I pick up all the Tech 9s at the end of the round, I throw them out the map. I don't even like to pick <laughs> them up. I don't even like to pick them up. I, I, I remember when... Um, I don't remember what gun it was. I, I don't know if it was when the Tech 9 had no recoil by accident. Yeah, that was hilarious. I remember Schneider refused to use it, and somebody asked yeah. him why, and he said, because it's not supposed to be like this, so what's the point in... Using it, like you know, yeah, well, there's no point abusing it for a day or two and then having to like relearn or whatever. I don't know. Depends on whether Valve would, would patch it, how quickly they'd patch it as well. Okay, so MR3 16k and Heroes has just given up on Orps completely. <laughs> Not even Cooch is holding one. Orps are the devil two. now. 
Oh, two after that last. That last. Uh, They've got Angel on their team, round. and the Orps are the Devil. Okay, they, they might even be looking for a counter boost here. Yeah, they're going to go for the counter boost, then straight into the the scope of Guardian. It's going to actually miss the shot here, but in goes the grenade. That should do some decent damage. Oh, a little bit too far actually, and it will get nothing. But they do know where they are, and Guardian's still uh, lurking here. And this is so dangerous from Angel. He's really brave, I must say. But Zeus will take him down nonetheless. And uh, Kucha, who is now tasked with handling middle, is quite far back. And Na'Vi can certainly get in now with that, the flames being down. Guardian might just do it by himself. More flames from Na'Vi. He's systematically clearing out middle again. And... Uh, Look at that. Look, I look at all the Molotovs they use. I actually really enjoy this. Just being 100% safe. They've got unlimited money, then. They've put in cheats. Impulse 101. And uh, Starix is the guy with the last Molotov now. So there is even one left over. And Dozier, he is certainly going to have to do a lot of damage here. He's going to be assaulted from two sides, but doesn't even come into play. Edward relieves him of his life straight away. Rocking the forklift area just for one kill. Unfortunately, that's not going to be enough. 2 on 4 now with uh, Hellraisers in a very awkward predicament. So the smoke going down there just to make life a little bit harder for Hellraisers. But again, with, with all the money, they can just try to see what they can make happen. Well, it's not going to be very much thanks to Guardian. And that's 18 to 18. As Na'Vi, sorry, 19 to 18 as Na'Vi take, uh, take that round. First round of the, of the uh, second overtime. Dan, I'm scared that Hellraisers are going to lose. I want them. I want to see a third map. I feel like they should. Mirage well, is, is really good for I both think, teams I as think well. we can agree that they should have won. Yeah. Oh, That's yeah, yeah, yeah. the second half of that. Yeah, they, they, that round, they should absolutely have won that round. I want so to see no them win. Question. I want to see a third map. But uh, because of history, Dan, I'm scared. Because, but the thing is, as Thorin points out earlier on Twitter, is that uh, history by no means will be repeated in the future. Somebody, somebody made a point of saying. Uh, uh, Tyson always go out in groups or something, but 60% of the old like, time to line up are playing on Envy. But that's enough about that. Go to the Twitter for more. Flamey with the first frag. This is good, Dan. This is good. Indeed it is. You segued well from your epistemo epistemological argument. Epistemological? Wow, look yeah. at you. Here we go. Again, with all the Molotovs. And uh, we're going to have to see if Na'Vi can... Try to get themselves back into this round here. They've taken some map controls. This is a great way to start things off. They want to get that that A split play going again. But Kucha's in a really good position here to take down these players. What a flick there from Kucha. Has a great angle here as well. Onto A main. The flash comes into play. And that's Guardian eliminated as well. Before they can push in, Hellraisers are taking advantage. And it's just Zeus and Seized. Here they go. Zeus taking down Dozier. They're onto the bomb site. Got one man who's resting on the flank. I think Navi know he's there. Zeus is looking for that shot. But Hellraisers could make this very awkward indeed. Seize gonna find the kill. Finds the head of Angel with that AK-47. And just the Dren and Flamey left against Zeus. And there you go. They do pull it off. It was scary. I thought I, I thought for a moment. History would have repeated. So. I'm going to be but scared until somebody wins this map. <laughs> yeah. Angel flew into main like he was playing Tenchu on the PlayStation or something. That was pretty cool. Nasty surprise there for the uh, for the waiting tees. So, into the deciding round of the first half. To see who takes the lead as we go into the second. As we all change roles. You have to wonder why Kucha didn't play the Orp in the first round. If he was just going for the element of surprise with different straps or something. Because uh, look at the strength of it when he whips it out. Nice pop flash here for the peak. Hellraiser is going to go in, but Guardian with a sick response, taking down Flamey immediately. And that early aggression is not going to pay off. Counter Strike is a game of risk taking, and uh, could have been a huge play for Hellraiser, but instead it puts them at disadvantage. Now they have to compensate, and so far they they are very spread out, and they don't know where Navi are. See, that's a bit of an indicator. Well, it's not much of an indicator because uh, people often do that on a fake. But it's not going to be a fake this time as we have three Navi players hungry for frags heading towards the B bomb site. Angel will be delayed if he chooses to go into the events. And he's, he's going to have two players trying to flank him as well. Sees looking for the frag, finds his face immediately as the charge comes in from the Navi players. Ooh. The bomb site has been cleared out. There's only two Harrys players remaining. 
and uh, Kucha almost gets cut down. He's trying to repick, trying to slow him down. He falls as well. One versus four now, as Dozier is the last line of defense here in the last round of the first half. Yeah, that's not looking too good for him. He's got four players. Uh, there's number one. Zeus falls as the bomb ticks away. They know exactly where he is now, so that makes life even more difficult. And the turn around. Ooh, can't oh, find shit. Edward with the auto sniper again. On the, it was just spamming away. He will take that one. Doesn't and, uh, even have a skin. <laughs> 20 to 19. So Navi ahead. Leading the overtime here again. So Navi are generally looking a bit better at the moment. Dan, look at Edward's so avatar. Close. He is ready for war. What this is man is ready for war. And I can't find his uh, number. Oops. Okay, we'll find it after. For some reason, nothing's working now. <laughs> there we go, look. Have a look at that. Oh, wow. That's just a serious helmet. It is. It's got a plume, a red plume. Indeed. Love a good plume. Doused in the blood of his enemies. Or maybe it's just die. I think it's probably die. You might be right. Seized. Been inspired by his teammates. And he has whipped out the, uh, the, the Ric Flair gun, as I like to call it. Because it's the dirtiest player in the game, Dan. All right, well, Na'Vi definitely going to be feeling a lot better in this in this period of the game than they I think they ever would have been. Winning some of the rounds they have on the money they have with a, an advantage into this overtime. So let's uh, see now if Harazers can do much here on their mid control. They've, they can they can pull out any number of plays from this, and Adren is able to actually stop Vision down into middle with that. So that either obscures. The A play that will come in, or it obscures their B plays. This is I love this smoke here from Hellraisers. They definitely have been doing their homework, but it's going to be the B play that comes in, and the entries are found. Navi players dropping like flies, as it is a three on five now, and a solid take of this bomb site for Hellraisers. Plenty of time for post plant positions, but it's not a safe plan actually. Someone has to remain on the site. Hellraisers have to win every round in this half if they are to make it to the next map. Otherwise, we're looking at either overtime three or they lose. So far, so good in the first half, second half, sorry. Only Seize remains. The auto sniper has left the building. Rick Flair will not fight to see another day. He's picked up Guardian's Orb. But maybe Guardian's Orb knows. Give him like little electric shocks because he's not Guardian. <laughs> Customized. Oop. Okay, so here we go. We do have no more shenanigans with auto snipers. They've, they've been put away and put back into the playpen. Now it's time for the real guns. So we do have, uh, once again, a very, very standard setup here from Na'Vi. They've pretty much given up A. Eh? They do have a player there by Toxic at the moment, but that's about it. The rest of the presence is on, on middle here from them, and that's a smart move early on. And especially oh, if nice. Oh, it wasn't Dozy, it was Angel, but who cares? There was lots of damage done by both players. Big push coming in to play Guardian. Oh, he's missed! That looked like it was on. He won't miss again. And that's Kucha down. They've expended every effort in trying to get mid control, but they get nothing. They've only gotten themselves two frags. They're a man down. The team who wins this round will have a massive advantage because they will be at match point. And that is enormous pressure. Flamey makes it a two versus two. The new addition to the Hellraiser's team. He is a massive fragger. But then so is Guardian. Trades coming in as Dozier changes over to an AK. Starrix though, the silent killer, the 007, walking towards the site. Dozier has no idea where he's coming from. He is going to pick. Oh, he doesn't get the right angle. And that's going to be match point to Na'Vi. What a round then. I can't believe that smoke dissipated at just the right moment for Guardian to get that quick pick. The trade did happen, but of course that just made the difference for Starrix there. The element of surprise, Navi now. This is it. Match point They're for up them. Against it, Dan. Last and, uh, chance saloon. Also sniper coming back out for Edwards. This man and his beard. He, he's going for the last round special. Let's see where he's gonna take it. Over to mid for the time being. Could rotate to A a bit later on. Oh, Zeus, he's been tapped down already. Speaking of taps, there's Edward with a Ric Flair gun. Gonna oh, take off this? Angel's head. What is this? It's the smoke. Edward and Zeus, no idea where they are. That's a man advantage now. But Elrays has made that too. Oh, this is big. Starx and Guardian. Guardian is crippled. He has 15 points of health. 
And Dozier's got the flank under control. Starix is now the only man left for Na'Vi. Damn, and show me some overtime, baby. We've got more overtimes here. We've got all the overtimes. Overtimes for days. Somebody bring me some bananas. I need some potassium. This one is going for more rounds. It's not over yet for Hellraisers. Na'Vi went down a few uh, players early on. Then, obviously, they had to push. You saw the push coming through the smoke onto A main. Had to take risks to try and even up the numbers. Didn't go their way. And we find ourselves, Dan, in round 43. Is it really? It is, because 21 plus 21 is 42, Dan. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The math magician over here. At this last round, Dozier did actually ridiculous damage with that spam through the through the door. There is a rush down middle, and uh, Zeus in a, such a good position. They're so blind. Zeus only gets one though, and uh, no trade to be found onto Adren. So this is a, a gain here, as they did actually get some map control out of this. You can see that Guardian is is trying with his comrades there to try to move into middle, but in amongst all the action in middle, seized Silent Killer from the side. Gets a quick sneaky kill and Na'Vi can fall back into advantage again. But look at this. Hellraiser's pushed up close into the B play. But the counter flashes are too good right now. Edward from behind and both players. I think he got, I think that was a one bullet double kill there. Just wall banging through the other guy for the headshot. 22 to 21, Na'Vi ahead. You can see Hellraiser's trying to be meticulous there. Throwing the Molotov into the uh, hidden position in checkers. Problem is that telegraphs what they're trying to do. Starix on the site makes the call. He, he sounds a horn, Dan. So he sent a memo to every, all of them. And his the teammates server. come charging in. They're in a stronger position than they otherwise would have been. Speaking of strong positions, no flash, no smoke, just Guardian with an AWP eliminating Angel. Navi looking angry right now. Adren though, taking down C, looking for Guardian, but he'll settle for that. Flamey opens the door. He has the keys. Why would you want to look for Guardian? I don't understand. Indeed. But some men are braver than others, Dan. <laughs> so trying to get some harassment done here. Guardian just rattling off shot after shot, looking for some wallbang damage. And that door is open. That's scary. And it's quite scary. But Guardian's got help right now. Not for that, which goes down immediately. Flamey gets Guardian as well. What a strong entry from him. Hellraisers are now charging onto the bomb site as a response. Bomb will get planted any second. There it is. Flamey again. Shot. Three kills in the bag for him. And it's just Starix left. And that is going to be a good way to help tie the situation up here. Starix picks up the kill somehow. Kucho falls. He's got three players left, surely. Starix. Get this done, and indeed, Flamey will get his fourth kill and he'll close out the round. Dan, all these players are looking sharp as Butch's pencils right now. This could go either way. And again, because nobody cares about economy, just give them money, guys. It's like they've won the lottery every every half. Just, just have all the cash, have the cars, and everything else that goes with it. <laughs> yeah. Like a driving license. A driving I don't know. license. MOT. To have the MOT, have the insurance, have it all. So there you go. Harris is making the move through middle again. They really want this early mid control, but this time Guardian with the early shutdown. But the trade from Kucha is going to make things a little bit easier. But no, Navi Zeus now takes the kill and falls back out of middle with the man advantage. As we have Flamey trying to get his way into the A bomb site, maybe wanting to walk through the smoke. Oh. Setting in the Edwards on bit the other side. Bit of a warning side. shot there. With that auto sniper, Flamey must have seen the trace. He must know where he is. But it's really hard to get the peek on there because there's, he must also know that there's got to be a player in close proximity for trades. And Edward pops off Flamey's head. The man that made the last round possible. And Edward all gets the tag onto Kucha. So brave. He's going to bait the CTs as well as the bomb is still hiding outside B but starting to rotate. Towards mids, you've been holding a very important angle there. They're coming back. I don't know if he hears anything, but he's starting to have a look to see what's going on. Is he going to find anyone? Oh, he's backing off from the site. He wants to try and hold it. This is a timing thing here. 25 seconds left on the clock. You can see the Molly's coming in. He's trying to slow them down. Kucha with another frag onto Starex. It's going to be all down to Zeus. As Seize tries to get to the site in time. Kucha, though, gets very aggressive. It's a 2v1 now. Dozier, last one standing as Seize uh, gets a flank. Eight seconds remaining. 
Ran goes to Navi. And Ed and Edward with another auto sniper special. Oh my days. When is this gonna end? This is uh, neither team can find an edge here. Navi have found once again a round advantage going into into a, a half, but Flamey a forty bomb. <laughs> yeah, but we played fifty rounds. I know, but still. God damn. You've got to give the man congratulations. You've got to light a candle, Dan. I don't have a candle, James. I don't just bring... I just don't... I don't have candles handy. Okay, guys. Tweet Dan candles. Three orbs. I want to see tens of... Tens of tweets. Three orbs. For Hellraisers. This is ridiculous. And Angel, is he going to go for the fast peak? He's going to go Guardian mode here. Here it is. There it is. The shot, but he doesn't get the hit. And it's just going to be Adrian who takes damage. Look at the wall banging there. Edward takes him down. Ooh. Dink Adokus. 44 health on Angel. I like how they, they abused, like Navi abused Guy the Guardian's own timing with a grenade to put Angel on 73 HP. Then he gets the wall bang coming in as well. Navi have got all the, uh, they've dotted their I's and crossed their T's, Dan. Their grammar is impeccable. I love T. Guardian now moving in. With his teammates to take that middle control, Kucha with a timely peek to get the frag. Was that a one-way smoke? I it may well have been actually on the white box. In fact, we so didn't see who threw it. Who knows? Yeah, it's gonna be Navi having to make an adjustment now as they look to go for this B play. Three orbs though. A quick B play might just do the trick. Our racers have occupied A main, but they haven't rotated any extra help here. They are starting to do it, but it might be a little bit too late. And it's flamey. Signal for coming in. First There's shot. a frag. He cannot rotate to a safe position there. And uh, he's going to find another frag. Only sees remains. So after starting the half around down, they managed to even things up. I don't know how many orps um, Navi identified in that round, but they will continue with only two orps on the CT side after one of the carriers had fallen. Yeah, now they can throw away an orp and get an AK, which is good. So, Guardian still rolling solo with a big green gun for the Na'Vi side. Let's see if they'll continue to try and abuse the uh, their own timings versus these CTs. It's going to be a double boost. Look at the fast aggression here towards the B site. Flamey's going to get the frag as well. That's some information. They're going to retreat back to site. He's heavily tagged. We've got trades coming in on both sides now. Such early wars here from both teams. 23-23. Still even now. And uh, Angel had 1 HP. Now he's got 0. C's going to finish him off. One man advantage here for Navi. The A site has been abandoned by the CT side. The so bomb isn't toxic towards B. Yeah, they still got over a minute to actually make the call as to where to go. And they know there's three players left for Hellraisers. And that is really critical information because if they stick together now onto a site, they know that Hellraisers cannot possibly defend this properly. However, Hellraisers, they've got to find a way to get onto this A bomb site now because they've been playing so defensively. They have no information. They need to take a gamble here, because if Navi gets set up on this A side, there's literally no way that they can take it back. And they should have enough cash to buy next round, no matter what. So they're going to want to go for this, but that smoke was oh, perfect. They've gambled, and they've gambled wrong, Dan. And with Guardian, with all this range between him and the CTs, how do you expect to survive a push here? Well, I suppose you don't. <laughs> uh, Volvo, please. Okay, so there we go. We've got the AWP on Guardian. Just one now on Hellraiser's side on Kucha. As Na'Vi are going to be looking for, again, just a standard spread here. As you can see Starks really defensive, looking for any quick aggressions. But that smoke is going to give him the idea that perhaps there'll be CTs behind it and not in front of it, so he can move forwards a little bit. And uh, how patient Na'Vi are being here, just waiting for a push. That is yet to come. So this is the second overtime between these two sides. And in goes the push. Guardians ready though, completely covered from those flashes. And that is a bad, bad start here for Hellraisers as Navi look to put pressure on the wounds at the moment and just try to get more damage done. As Hellraisers, they have All reinforced these, but these entries are strong here from Navi as they look to be closing this one out. Oh, but there it is, two on two. That's really good work there from Dozy and Kucha to even it up. Bomb just going down now as they're both coming up short. It's looking really not so bad here now for Hellraisers. 
as the flashes come in. Starix gets the peak. There's a spray, though, onto Adren. It's just Kucha running with the pistol, but Starix will take both frags, and he's going to take the match. Na'Vi, 25-23, to 23, will be winning 2-0, having won 16-11 versus Harry's on Dust 2. Really, really close Dust 2 as well. They will get to face Flipside Tactics now for a shot at LAN Finals. Unfortunately, Hellraisers are eliminated. There's no, no chance now for them until next season for Star Series. I, I want to see um, Hellraiser's stats in clutch situations. Because once again, they've... they've I mean, it's not, it's not even a match. It's just it's a map, but still. They... F um, I mean, seriously, 5v2. Sometimes it happens, but it just happens too much to Hellraisers, unfortunately. That 5v2 um, was very... It's brutal. I mean, so many. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we've 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 seen them go through a lot of maps like that, and it's got to be heartbreaking. Absolutely. But congrats to what Navi. A game, yeah, absolutely. But the road is not over for Navi yet. Navi versus Flipside is going to be a really awesome game as well. That should be coming in about five minutes, I think. All right. So we're going to go and set that one up, guys. Remember to follow the channel so we can get those giveaways happening, and we will see you after the break for Flipside Tactics versus Navi.